Good morning and welcome to the week of Busy Mind. Oh boy, this is going to be a good one. Welcome everybody. My name is Kara Bradley and I am a mental strength coach, helping people to notice their mind, move past what is unhelpful, connect deep into their body, integrate body-mind, and live life fully, fully alive. Today, I want to bring you an excerpt from my book, On the Verge. In thinking about how I was going to offer the definition of the busy mind to you, I started to read a short passage from the book and realized, you know, I spent years crafting this stuff, so why not just read it to you? Here we go. Have you ever tried to stop your mind from thinking? It's not so easy. The truth is that thinking is what your mind is meant to do. Your mind produces thoughts, just as your ears hear sounds and your eyes see your surroundings. Also, thinking isn't a bad thing. It's just that we're preoccupied and often obsessed with it. Our thoughts rule our lives. We believe that what we think is actually the way things are, that our thoughts are perfectly reflect our reality. And as a result, we become attached to our stories and end up engrossed in and even imprisoned by what we're thinking. Your busy mind is made up of a mix of thoughts, emotions, doubt, fears, along with various other thought patterns. By the way, it's the same for everyone. In our society of more and better, our minds operate with constant mental noise. We plan, we judge, we analyze, we comment, we remember, we forecast, and so on. You don't realize how much your busyness controls your day until you collapse on your bed at night. Well, shifting beyond your busy mind doesn't mean that was my phone and I'm not going to edit it out because guess what? This is an unedited, unproduced podcast. So here we go. You got me at my best, my friends. I am just in the flow here. So you don't realize how much your busyness controls your day, do you? Well, shifting beyond your busy mind doesn't mean you stop thinking, but it does change your relationship to thinking. Your thoughts and emotions stop ruling your world, and you learn to trust your direct experience in your body, in the moment. So you move from being led around town by your busy mind to trusting what's happening right now in your direct experience, in your body-mind intelligence. You learn to trust that what you're experiencing right now is what's real and true. And that's not to say that you're going to disregard your thoughts and emotions. You're simply going to change your relationship to your thoughts and emotions by recognizing that they don't always clearly reflect reality. So in order to understand how your thoughts and emotions may be ruling your world, it's essential to get to know your busy mind. And this is what we're going to do this week. We are going to review the common traits of the busy mind. Some of us will relate to certain traits. You might not relate to any, but I'm sure that if you're like most, you're going to find some truth in some of these traits. So the traits of your busy mind fall into one of these categories, maybe all of them. It just depends on the day. It's that sense of being crazy busy, being on speed. It's the idea of having this sloppy brain where you drop stuff and forget stuff. It's being on autopilot and racing through your lunch while you're thinking about something else. It's information overload, which I think every one of us can 
can relate to just having too much in our mind at one time. And finally, it's overthinking, just thinking way too much, just processing and planning way too much. So this week, we're going to dissect the traits of the busy mind. And remember that we all have busy minds because our minds are thinking machines. But we can, once we start noticing these traits and we start to recognize our patterns, this is when we can start to change. This is when we grab hold of the steering wheel and we start to direct our thoughts instead of allowing thoughts to direct our lives. So this is the beginning of Busy Mind Week. I am so glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. And if you want more, you can always uh, check out my book on The Verge, Wake Up, Show Up, and Shine. And I'll see you, hear you. I will be with you in some capacity tomorrow. Take care.